guys, it's Miss Linda. I miss your beautiful smiling faces at church, but I'm so excited that I get to read you a story today. The story that I'm going to read you today is called Jesus Teaches, and it's from the New Testament, from the Gospels of Matthew and Luke. Fear not, little flock, for it is your Father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom. Jesus often taught people about his kingdom. One time, he hiked up a mountain, and a great crowd gathered around him. Messages from God had come to the people from mountains many times in the past. Jesus looked in their eyes and saw that they wanted wisdom and hope. Then Jesus told them what life would be like when he was king, and everything was good and new again. Jesus taught that things are different in his kingdom. People love God and each other. No one gets into this kingdom by working hard or paying lots of money. The strong and proud do not rule this kingdom either. Instead, those who live humble lives will be happy and free there. Those who are sad will find comfort. Those who seek goodness will find God's perfect holiness. People will be kind and merciful and live in peace, and they will be happy. Do you ever worry? The people Jesus was teaching had many worries. They didn't know what to eat or what to drink and what to wear, and some of them were very, very poor. Jesus saw the worry lines on their faces, but he looked past the crowds to the lovely lilies growing on the hillside. He glanced up at the sky and saw birds in graceful flight. Then Jesus told the crowds, Birds do not work at all, and God cares for them. Lazy lilies do not spin wool for their robes, and God makes them beautiful. Don't worry. The people smiled and felt safe. Jesus said, God knows just what you need. If he cares so much for every bird and blade of grass, how much more do you think he cares for you? Then Jesus gave this promise. Seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things will be added to you. Matthew 6, 33. In his kingdom, we have everything we need. God wants us to be in his kingdom. That's why he sent Jesus. Wasn't that an awesome story? I bet you know why I picked it. It talked about worry a lot, didn't it? And Jesus doesn't want us to worry. I know this is kind of a crazy time, isn't it? And everything's different than what we're used to. You might be worrying about your health or the health of people you love. You might even be worrying about your schoolwork because you're doing everything in such a different way now. But Jesus said we don't have to worry. He promised us that we don't have to worry because he cares about us and he loves us so much that he'll give us everything we need. He said to seek him. Seek him and give our worries to him. And there are some ways that you can seek him. You can read your Bible. You can pray to him. And you can just talk to him. Give your worries to him. If you want to read about these, this story in your Bible, go to the New Testament and go to the Gospels of Mark chapter 5 and Luke chapter 6. You guys stay healthy, stay happy, and I am looking so forward to getting to see you at church again. Love you. Bye-bye.